Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our Crochet Podcast, episode 32. Welcome back, everybody. Nice to see you. If you are just stopping by, this channel is about crochet and crochet-related items, yarns and such. Um, I should also explain, my name is Krista. I'm married, have four kids, bunch of pets, bunch of dogs, new puppy who's outside. It's raining today, so she has to have a bath when she comes in. So she's not here now, but I did imagine her sitting here politely for the whole podcast. It's not happening. Maybe next week or the next podcast we have. Um, and I live in Nairobi, Kenya. So the first half of the podcast are about crochet, the usual, and then it digresses into bits about living in Kenya and my life here. So if those things are of interest to you, consider hitting the subscribe button below. And it would be great to have you join our community. We also have a Facebook group, Facebook page, a crochet along group for our crochet alongs. We normally have a monthly crochet along, although for summer, because I do have four kids, um, 12 just turned, birthday last weekend. Uh, 12, nine, five, and four. So I'm spending summer with the kids and just doing um, podcasts and tutorials as I can. So, ee, although we do also do a live chat, I say we, it's usually Kavita and I from the Wicked Whisk in Nairobi. Uh, we do a live chat on Fridays. In the States, it's Friday mornings, and in Kenya, it is Friday afternoon at 5 p.m. So, that's a super fun thing, too. So think about joining us for those things, and if you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get a notification of when we go live or do some random uh, videos together. So, crochet bits, before I dive into news, obviously there's a lot, I haven't been here forever. Finished objects, you can see this one a little bit. So that's the bag for our June crochet along, granny square tote with the lined handle and the lining inside. Ugh. It's a problem. Love the bag. The bag's totally great. But the problem is filming the uh, sewing in the lining on the sewing machine. I tried to use a lapel mic so the camera and my sewing machine wouldn't be so loud. And no sound recorded. So now I don't know what to do. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to do. If I have to like make two videos and like splice them together. And then like last night I'm like I should just rip out the lining and sew it again like just using the, the microphone on the camera instead of the lapel mic and like just making do. So I'm thinking I'm just going to try to rip that out. If it rips out easy, then I'm going to rip it out. Rips out easy. So maybe that's what I'm going to do. I guess that is what I'm doing so that I can finish uh, filming it because what a pain in the butt that is. Oh, and it's a 45 minute video, like 45 minutes of me like filming it and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I'm just going to rip it out. So cute, right? I'm going to rip it out and film it again, sewing it in. So I guess it's a finished object. Oh, it's not a finished object anymore, right? I just ripped it apart. So that's a whip. Other finished object, water bottle. Oh, it's cozy. Water bottle cover. I used uh, one strand of chenille. Hopefully I'll focus. One strand of chenille and one strand of acrylic. So this is, the chenille is the same color the whole way through. This is with a green, like a super, it's, we call it Kavita Mint because it's Kavita's favorite color. And then up here I just used my other favorite color which is oatmeal. So it's supposed to be those two colors. Because I ran out of Kavita Mint. <laughs> so I grabbed another ball that was sitting in my room without having to go too far. And... Uh, and I just single crocheted it together on the top, on that edge there. It's pretty messy. I don't like it, but it works. And, but I made it too tight around this neck. It works. But like when you fold it down to put the water in, you can see it like wrinkles. That little bit, like see how it's not like just nice and open like it should be. So I think I just made this too tight. <sighs> but it's finished object and it does work. It was kind of an experiment to see if it keeps the hot water hot longer. 
And it does, although it doesn't, it also just keeps the heat inside. Like when you feel it, it's kind of cozy, like a, like a, you know, it's cozy. It doesn't burn you, like it's not burning hot. It stays warm for a long time, which I guess is good. But I also like a super hot water bottle, like that actually makes your feet burn and like, you know, you really get the heat. This one you get warm. So I think for my next one, I'm just going to use the chenille because I like the softness of it, or a burnout blanket if you're somewhere that has a burnout blanket, and then without the acrylic, just one strand, you know, and just, this is just half double crochets. So I would do a half double with just the chenille, and at the top I think I'd only put three stitches on each side, and then just go up straight instead of making it super tailored around the neck here. I'd skip that. I think that's what I'm going to do for my next one. And I just did a, a chain along the bottom and worked around it like a railroad track in a spiral, no joining. So, I mean, I like it, but I don't like it. But I like it, but I don't like it. So that is here today, keeping me cozy. It is, my glasses on, my grasses. Uh, 19 point something. Let me check. Oh my gosh. 19.2. Dying. Dying. Oh, 19.3, because I'm holding it now. This is just a cheap one from Amazon. It's not super accurate. Like, it jumps within half a degree, so. But it was only $8 or something. We got it for my temperature blanket. It hangs on my whip basket. Not that I'm doing a temperature blanket and we're not even, I didn't even say it out loud. <laughs> not talking about it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> 19 degrees, cold, have my water bottle. So that is a finished object. I wonder if I could put it on my, no, it does not stick. I should just keep it on my tripod. That'd be so cool, right? That's what I should do. Anyway. <sighs> Next things, whips. I'll start chronologically. Is that bad or what? I know. Okay, chronological whips. Not my fault. In my defense, had crochet class a couple weeks ago. So not this last weekend, the weekend before. No, it wasn't even. So it was three weeks ago, because this was in an out and about. And one of our dear friends, Litza, crochet lady, wanted to start a project with some really nice cotton bamboo that she'd made into a Ruana poncho but then dropped stitches on two sides halfway through so it was super asymmetrical had to be frogged so horrible so we didn't touch it for a while then she's like she was ready to touch the yarn again she's like well I want to maybe I'll make a blanket or something like that so thought about patterns and decided on doing a cable stitch I don't have a stitch marker in it so problem. Cable stitch. Her, this is just cotton. No, this is actually cotton acrylic and single crochet and then doubles or trebles depending if it's cabling or not. Front post and then on, so you go one way doing your stitches, you like single crochet and your doubles and trebles front post and single crochet and double crochets, single crochets, working your way across and then on the way back, I grab my, on the way back you just do a row of single crochet. So the back looks like that, it has like these little kind of, they're kind of like pockety flappy things in there, but I like it. It's heavy, so anyway I am using this yarn here, which is cotton acrylic. I think it's like 50-50. No, 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. Hopefully I can see it. It's quite chunky. I think it's a six. Oh, it doesn't say, but I would say it's a six for thickness. And I'm using a eight millimeter hook, the Clover eight millimeter. And I have 24 balls of this yarn, 
Oh, I better put a stitch marker in there. Or just hold it. So I have 24 balls of this yarn. So I made it, I forget how many stitches I did across. 120 or something? No, I don't remember. Anyway, I made it this wide and I'm gonna, this is already, how many balls? Eight, 12. So this is seven balls already. Seven balls. So I have 24 to go. Well, I have 24 in total, so I'm not halfway. I'm more than a third. So it'll be a, like a decent lap blanket. And then, because it's kind of a funny color, they call it rose brown, but I mean, it's a funny color. So for the edge, I also have these colors. A very great, a variegated teal. It's not focusing. Oh, yeah, it is. A variegated teal and also this cotton tape. So I was going to use those to make the border just to give it some, a little bit of joy. So it's not like, you know, a boring brown blanket. Then starting and stopping, watching TV, talking to Litza in class. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like we, oh, I thought I was doing a different pattern than her. <sighs> So I just don't know, I don't know, if I, if I changed my cables, if my cables look different halfway down. I don't know. So I love it, but I don't love it, but I love it, but I don't love it. I don't know. Plus 24 balls of yarn is a bit like, oh, it's a bit of a downer. You're like, oh my gosh, I have so many balls of yarn to do of the same color, of the same, 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 same. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, I'm a lucky girl to have 24 balls of yarn to make a blanket. I'm not complaining. However, once you figure out the pattern and you know you're doing your cabling, it's a bit like, okay, well, I've done that. Like, what now? Like, moving on to the next project. So in my head, because I did this nice silver yarn for this uh, bag hopefully you can see it this silver trim I didn't use this exact yarn this is a scratchy one but I bought two at the same time so this is the scratchy one I put on the bag and then I had a soft one and the soft one the super soft and also like super metallic is that Oh, that's working. So it has a really nice shine to it and it's really soft. So this one, I wanted to make like a shawl, like a fancy kind of shawl, like rectangular, just to like go over the shoulders, maybe up over a sundress or like something to dress it up, like going out for dinner, trying to be cute or whatever. Have like a, a cute little silver shawl. So I went through my pattern book. Let me show you my patterns. This is what happens when you don't make notes and you just go make a podcast. You don't bring all your stuff. Okay, so this is the book I was using. Because uh, I had another crochet lady come over to buy some yarn last week and she, went, she was making like a rectangular shawl for uh, like to go over a dress to go to a wedding. And I was like, that's exactly what I want to do. So went through this book to look for a stitch pattern for her and found some, although I forget which one I started with. Anyway, I started with, that's not a very good sample, but the star kind of shape and then it goes into oops that's all tangled up and then it has a granny and then it has a star and a granny star granny star granny star so and the stars are all kind of lined up along the work so i thought that would look really cute made it did one ball of yarn and one full pattern repeat plus a row or two the pattern was great, but that is not long enough anymore. Look how that is. It's like 
one, two, it's less than three feet. So like you put it around, it's like a scarf. Like that's dinky, that's not gonna look cute. That's gonna look like I'm wearing some weird, anyway, wasn't happy with it. If you stretch it, like pull it, it goes long, but then if you want the pattern to look cute, you have to pull it the other way so that the pattern shows up. So I was like, oh, lost my, inspir lost my mojo with that one. But loved the yarn, loved how it was working out. So went back to the book and got, where is it at? This pattern here, 178, that one. And it has the chart, and it has the written instructions, and pretty much uh, the, row, the, the repetition is row two. Okay, so you repeat one row the entire time. You can probably see it if I... Where do I touch? Can you see the, the chart? So that's all you do the whole way around, over and over and over. Loved it. Started it. Make sure I have a stitch marker. I do, good. Da, 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 da. How fantastic is that? Check out that pattern. So I'm calling it, other than 178, <laughs> I'm calling it my drunken granny. Because they kind of look like, well they do look like granny shells. And they're just kind of like mosaically stuck together. So I really, really like how it's turning out. And the edge, I also like. It's just wobbly on that side. It, there's like a piece hanging out. That didn't describe it very well, did it? Can you see the bottom? So that's really pretty. And then I want to do, so I'm going to do five balls. This is four. Yeah, this is four balls already done. So, and they're 200 meters in a ball. So this is 800 meters of yarn. <sighs> which I really do like. I'm gonna do one more ball, so it's five balls long, and then use the last ball to put a really nice border on each end of it. So that I'm really happy with. I think it's really great. It's not long enough yet, obviously. Try to hop up a bit. But you can see it's at least starting. Like even if it was finished now, it would still be a bit usable. Although I want it to be longer. Totally loving it. I did frog one side. When I, when I did my chain, uh, it was too wide. So I went back and undid it, and I have to unpick my chain. Can you see that? I'll get my head out of the way. I have to unpick that chain and sew in the tail, but I really like it, and I'm really looking forward to putting like some substantial border on each end to kind of like pull it down. It does have some nice weight to it. Maybe I'll show you without my big chunky sweater on. So cute. Anyway, this is my new favorite pattern, my favorite stitch. Yes, I'm gonna do a tutorial on it because how cool is that? Isn't that amazing? Ah, I really love it. And I really want this to have like some sort of big border on it. So looking forward to this being done. <gasps> and I can't, I, even this pattern, I, it's like so great. That pattern is so great. I'm in love with it. Like for a blanket, like just everything should be like this. Everything should be this stitch. I love it. Or a cardigan, I was even thinking when I was making it, wouldn't it make like the cutest tunic? Like, you know, you have to wear something underneath. Right, but just like a panel in a panel and like a sleeveless boat neck. So cute. So that is a mad success. Can't wait to finish it. One more ball to go and then I have to frog 
this little fail, but I kept this one to show you. Or maybe I'll frog it next, actually, to show you what, um, what I tried to do. I do like the pattern, but it needs blocking. It's definitely something that needs blocking, and I'm not a blocking girl. Anyway, whips. Now, back in my coziness. Uh, that is about it for crochet related things. We do have a crochet vacay coming up in February. There's about five of us going so far. Yes, my kids are home. Do you think they're going to keep shouting for me? I do have somebody cooking for them in the kitchen, so they're not starving. Um, anyway. Uh, crochet vacay in February 2019. We have uh, three days on safari. We have three days in Nairobi, and we have three days, is it four days on the coast, or four days in Nairobi. Anyway, we're going on safari. We are going to the beach, and we're going around Nairobi to my favorite spots. So details about that are in the, on the website, so secretyarnery.com slash trips. And love to have you join us for that. I still do have to do a separate video on that. Oh, there's a bird at my window. Uh, two birds at my window. Um, I have to do a separate video like it, showing you all about those places. So that is coming up sometime this summer. And I'm very excited about that. So. Stay tuned and come and join us. Now, out and about bits, what I've been up to, I had a birthday party. My oldest firstborn turned 12, so we had a big party for him. Not a big party. We had a family day for him. He got to do whatever he wanted, pick his meals, pick what he wanted to do, which is pretty much pay, play Fortnite. And what else did he want to do? Hang out with his dad. They went around. And then we had a really fun day. Got a bouncy castle for the little kids, my littler kids. So they really enjoyed that. And played video games, hung out. Um, it was really great. So home for the summer, making Play-Doh, doing chalk all over the driveway, have a new puppy. Puppy is super cute. It is um, like a, I don't want to call her a mutt, but she's like a street mutt. There's a rescue group here, TNR Trust. So we adopted her from there. She is, I think, about 10 weeks old now. We've had her for a week, and she's pretty much paper trained. If you give her the whole house, she'll probably go off and find a nice piece of shag carpet to, you know, enjoy herself on. But if you, like, get the bedroom at night, she literally will, like, try not to pee, and if she has to, she goes in the newspaper. So that's so cute. She's adorable. But it is a bit rainy today, and she's outside playing with the dog, the, uh, my other German Shepherd, so she's a bit, like literally too muddy to come inside today without a bath so she's enjoying her day out and that's pretty much my news <sighs> out and about with Kavitz, super fun oops excuse me i think we that's the video i'll put on after this is uh, going to diamond plaza which I will show you when you see that video. So I guess that's about it. I just wanted to pop in and say hi quickly, show you guys what I'm up to. And yes, we're doing a finish along for uh, July and August. I will have that video coming out soon. I'll have all these videos coming out soon. After I rip out this lining and do that, because that was so, that was a real stumbling block, block for me. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Ripping apart me crochet and filming stuff, hanging out with the kids. It's winter here, so nothing to um, outdoor sun in the fun, sun in the fun, fun in the sun stuff, but just doing fun stuff at home and hanging out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and stay hooked.
Um, but let's see, maybe we'll hook up with her somewhere. And we are gonna go get uh, a fruit and veg. There's a really good fruit and veg shop there. It's not the market, it's like an actual store, but it is really good, fresh, fresh, fresh produce and um, really good price. That was this police we drove past. Maybe I should move my phone. They're like, what are you doing on your phone? You're on the steering wheel, by the way. Yes, I brought a mount and then it's in my, it's in the other car. We, I switched cars with my husband today, so. Back to handheld. Hello. I don't mind it. 10 o'clock in the morning. Where's the clock in this thing? 10, 17. the way in this place here this with the petrol station on the way that's the grocery store where I got my coffee filters for those of you watching my other uh, out and about little trips and we're going to Parklands which is also the neighborhood that Kavita lives in so you get to kind of see her neighborhood lots of people live in Parklands actually lots and lots this is Mathaga still, kind of. I don't really think it's Mathaga, but technically it is. I think. And then like once you go around this corner, then I think it's kind of like Parklands. Ish. Look at that bougainvillea. So pretty. So we do not go on this way on Tuesdays and Fridays because it's also the same road that goes to City Market, I think it's called, which is also in Parklands, that fruit and veg outdoor kiosky markety place. And then it's just so busy because everybody is going there. It's not half price, I guess. Well, it depends. Uh, you have to bar it's a bargain kind of place, so you have to barter. So. And you, so if you know your prices, it's a really good deal. It's probably half price of like even the store we're going to now. But if you don't go there lots or per, oh, monkey, do you see the monkey? The monkey. Uh, then your prices, then I, like to me, for me, it's the same price as the store. But for my mother-in-law, it's like less than half price. She probably pays 30% of the store. Cause she's gone there. She has her, she has her vendors that, you know she knows and it's her price and blah blah and she buys a lot because they feed their employees at the family business so the, she buys a lot of fruit and veg now this is parklands i don't know what this place is called it used to be a chumi which is a grocery store like a dot like a pretty dodgy grocery store in that beige building over there and that one, then it moved out, but now they have Path Care. You can kind of see that sign there. It says care, but behind it, it says Path Care. That is an independent lab. So whatever lab tests you want to get done or like medical things, you can go and do it. They do all sorts of, uh, you can go have your examinations done, your pap smear, your whatever you want done. I think it's 15 bucks for a pap, something like that. Pretty good deal. And it's super, like it's clean and good. Like I've, uh, they have a really good phlebotomist. You don't even feel a thing. Gone there for decades. Actually, I've gone there for a decade when it was brand new. No more, because it was before I had my son, who was turning 12 in a couple days, anyway. So I guess 12 years. There's also Pizza Corner. You would never think there's a good restaurant in there, but that Pizza Corner is salamin, and they make really good masala fries, garlic fries. Oh, I'm salivating again. I have to stop talking about food. So, Anyway, that place is really good. We go there quite a bit. Spotless Cafe, that's so cute, right? So the other thing we do in the car, oh, it's Spotless Car Wash. Oh, my God, I get the theme, I get it. Um, the other thing we do is we admire, or at least notice the names that people call their businesses here, which is quite interesting. <laughs> and we also look at advertisements, like the big billboards, because they'll be hilarious. Oh, there's our tropical heat. The new soccer, they're just regular potato chips, but they've redone their packaging quite well. And this is the other on the way supermarket in Parklands. 
I haven't been to this one. But Kavita did to get all of those payday candy bars. Oh, I saw her husband like the next week and he like turned around, grabbed my hand and said, thank you <laughs> for introducing them to paydays. How cute is that? I was like, that's so cute. Anyway, so this is Parklands, Lemur Road. So there's a nursery, you can buy your trees in there, your plants. Up ahead is City Park. You can see Nairobi City Council City Park, kind of a sign behind those trees. That's the vegetable market. Yay, vegetable market. So we are gonna be turning here, away from City Park Market. So that's the Boga Place, ding, ding, ding. And this is, thank you kindly, Aga Khan. That's the big university hospital, it's a teaching hospital. My son was born there. Oh, I, it's very nice. The only thing bad about it is like you get disturbed for like to place your orders, like for your menu, like what you'd like for starter, what you'd like for main, like three times a day. And they bring you like tea, snacks, like cakes and stuff too. It's like, really? Like, can't you just bring me chicken every single time? But can you imagine complaining about that at a hospital? And the food's delicious. Delicious. Not that my mother-in-law didn't bring me food. She did. She's great. Uh -huh. Oops, what's this? Broken down. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Now, Vitz lives over here somewhere. Maybe we should go pick her up. Drag her out. Anyway, this is Parklands. Oh. So it's pretty much like old Masonettes, like that building in there. There's probably like, it's probably divided into four or six like apartments or families that live in there. Back in the 60s, lots of people lived here, like the Indians pretty much all moved here from another area closer to the airport. This used to be like, you know, the up and coming neighborhood. Now it's just like the old money neighborhood, which you wouldn't think. I thought it was a bloody slum, but it's not. Anyway, Diamond Plaza 2 on the left. Never been in it. Some dodgy building. And Diamond Plaza 1, super dodgy building on the right. Which isn't actually Diamond Plaza. Diamond Plaza is actually the parking lot, in my opinion. Anyway, here we go. Do like the diamonds on the fence? They light up, they have LED like Christmas lights on them for at night. A bit of Vegas for you. Vegas. In. This is Diamond Plaza. Oh, look, you can see the sign, Diamond Plaza. Here we go. Yes, there's security. Oh, I gotta go this side. Good Lord, help me. Okay, now let me try not to close you. Jambo, thank you. Handwritten ticket. Good lord. Oh, look, they have a little Maasai market going on. That's cute. I don't know where I'm going to park. Should have turned already. Eee. So, the thing about this place, it is jam packed. Plus, kids hang out here, not kids, like teenagers or like people that want to date or I don't know what it is but you pretty much come and hang out and stand by somebody else's car like you find the nicest car and then you lean on it I guess back when we used to come with nice cars I'm like why are there all these kids leaning on our car that's why but I don't come at night anymore oh, there's really good food that's a whole food courty thing over there Okay, now let's see. I parked all by myself. I don't know where Vitz is. Probably gonna have to call her. This thing, arrival time, okay. Um, if she's still here, I don't know. We find out. Handbag, car key. Ah. Little old lady. 
The Amaro Bajillas. Those are awesome. Really awesome. Let's see. Okay, let me call Veets. We'll see where she's at. Okay, so Veets is coming. Okay, now, finished vegetable shopping. Tried to find sushi rice. The place that used to sell it literally does not. It's a, like a fish market. Bummer. So now this is kind of like the backside of Westlands, which touches Parklands. Which is Kavita's hood. Uh, which I try eh, to not go to very often because it's busy like this. Don't like the busy. Bumps. <coughs> oh, that's cute. That's a neat little thing. big boxes of vegetables and fruits because yes I forgot my shopping bags classic oh that's kind of cool don't have too much graffiti now I can say we do maybe I should come to Parklands more often hey dude you have to stay on your side of the road this driving around without sushi rice is making me sad look at that traffic crazy oh look at that jeep crazy Okay, we're almost back in a civilization that I recognize. It's warm out today. I don't know how to figure out the temperature, but it's warm out. Although I'm wearing a sweater, so I mean, it's relative. Some signs over there, cute, cute. There's another hospital nearby this place. There's also a Holiday Inn near this place. They call it May, Mayfield? Mayflower. I forget. One of the two. It's actually pretty nice. It's not so bad. And they have a swimming pool and they have a casino. It's, it's mostly known for its casino. And no, I did not gamble. I figure that gambling thing is, what do they call it? T uh, added tax for the people not good at math. Oh, maybe I went past it already might be behind me. Yeah, I think it's behind me. Oh well, now this is officially Parklands. Oh, if you get in a car crash, that's where you go. That's the police station. Hi, police station. What's up? Oh, drove past another police station the other day in my neighborhood in Runda, and they also, they had a sign saying, oh, we also do at M-Pesa, you know, that mobile money thing. You can, they take, uh, so instead of taking bribes with M-Pesa, so you don't send it to their phone number, you uh, withdraw from your account. I'm like what oh this is so cute look at those lights do you think it means police probably not oh it's Americans hi oh it's not Americans what well, that's quite fancy Americans have red plates CD 29 or 29 CD whatever it is and they do get to have lights like that if the ambassadors driving around or whatever they get a little convoy that was probably just a politician or somebody. Oh, where am I at now? Oh, gee. Okay, very interesting. We're going to be taking the bypass. Good idea. Oh, it's even really good. I want to go to Navis. Oh, this is working out. Okay, let me in. 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 Okay, good. I'll be here. I'm just going to pretend. Here is fine. Now, these bypasses confuse the hell out of me. Let me get in this lane. I think that's safer. I hope. I just want to go straight. Can I go straight? You never know. It's opposite. So like getting off, I don't know. It's a super opposite. Oh, look at there's traffic down there. No, I'm not looking. Only you are looking. I am driving the car. Ta-da. Oh, there's a cute temple over there. That's a Hindu temple, but it's a different kind. It's not my family's kind. It's a different kind. But the doors are supposed to be fantastic. I've never been inside. And that over there, Premier Academy, is a school that my husband used to go to. 
uh, I think for elementary. He went to a different school for high school. Interesting car. Okay, we're nailing it. This is awesome. So I only have to get off one more time. Which I think I know how to do it. So this is Forest Road. It used to be a normal road. Now it is a highway of some sort. I have to get in the center lane. Thank you kindly. Oh, now this part confuses me. Do I get over one more? Yes, I do. Very good. Cars, 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 cars. Okay. Okay, we're nailing it, by the way. Nailing it. Anyway, the first time I took this bypass, I was trying to go, like, from my grocery store to my house, and I ended up going downtown. No joke. I couldn't get off the damn thing, because it's, like, opposite. Like, you want to go... Like you want to get off, but you have to stay in the middle to get off. And if you're on the edge, I don't know. It's just super weird. I have to get over one more too, but now there's cars. Oh, I'm merging. <laughs> Suckers. Okay, now I'm staying this way. Mathaga Lamuru Kambu. That's me. One car on that side. He's moving over. That's great. I'm going with this guy. What is wrong? Oh, sorry. That was my finger. Holding up the phone, sorry. Edit that out. I just had my finger on the zoom button, so I probably had to edit that out. More traffic. Suckers. Oh no, I wanted to stay on. No, I didn't. I didn't do it right. I'm doing it right. I'm doing it right. There's two main roads that hook up here. And it confuses me, but we did it right. Now we gotta cut across all this. I got my hair cut in that place. Did I zoom in? I did, right? Thank you kindly, everybody. Thank you kindly. We are going this way. Hey, on this road here. Got it. Nailed it. Anyway, that's Pika Highway over there. So that is, it used to have massive accidents. Uh, I don't think it does totally anymore. My sisters used to go to university down that road, so literally you just get in a habit of honking your horn. Like you're just like honk, 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 honk the whole way because you'll get hit. So they would like talk and just be like beep, 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 like the whole way to school. <laughs> I was like, pretty smart technique actually, right? Anyway. Oh, I took you on this road once. Oops. Eek. To go to my girlfriend's house after I got my hair cut. That's right. Anyway, we're stopping first at a grocery store. That new one, Navis. I want to get a hot water heater. I've been looking. Hard to find one that I want anyway. Because I don't want it for the shower, I want it for the bathtub. Okay, speed bumps. I often put speed bumps on busy roads. It's great. Thank you. Great. That is Karoo Forest, where we go for lunch, but this is the back entrance. I don't know how many square kilometers that place is, quite a bit. And this is CID, so Central Intelligence Department, something like that. Probably not allowed to take pictures there either. <sighs> Housing development. Always admiring my billboards. Five Star Paradise. Oh, at least they call it Cambu Road. Usually they call it all Runda. That's nice, to be honest. And the tree nurseries on the side. Which is great. Oh, and you can see an electric fence in there. That is the forest. So the entire forest is electric fenced. Pretty much just to keep people out from like, you know, keep robbers out. Robbers. And Shark's Palace on the right. Haven't been there ever. Will not be going there. Not in my hood. This road is great, isn't it? 
So this is one of the better roads because the person who had the contract to build it didn't steal the money. They actually put stones, like they made it flat and then they put stones on top of the dirt and then they put sand on top of the stones and then they put the tarmac. So this road is like 20 years old now. No potholes because he actually bought the stones. Most people just make it flat and put some sand and put the tarmac and keep all the money that you got paid to put in stones. A little trivia for you there. Or so I've heard. And it seems to be true because the road is still here 20 years later. Okay, now Navis is coming up. Wait for this. Okay, it is on the left somewhere. And you have to turn in way before. I hope I didn't go past it. Do you think I did? No. Is it this place? No. Although this Shell station has some sort of bar in there. They had the coldest beer. Like there was, <laughs> it was a heat wave and there was like no cold beer. Like cold beer was like warm beer. Coldest beer in there. Like you just buy a takeaway. Like, you know, just go get a six pack or whatever. It was the coldest. Anyway, so I have been in. No, I waited in the car, but I did get beer from that place once. Many moons ago. Okay, now we have to pay attention because I got to get into this parking lot here. I don't know if they have security. That'd be interesting. Okay, here we go. Nailing it. So I came yesterday, first time, with a driver. We, we didn't do it right. Because you have to turn in here. You don't, you don't even know where you're turning in yet. It's like you're so far ahead. And then we have to turn in here. Oh, they do security. That's cute, isn't it? So security, we open our glove compartment. There. Oh, and you unlock your doors. There. Oh, I guess I shouldn't just film the guy, right? Okay. Oh, what a nice day. Now, does it say anywhere no filming? No, it doesn't. Legit. Jamba. Sorry. How are you, Sibui? Good, good. Thank you kindly. Java house, that's great. They have some things to rent. Ground floor for a restaurant bar and there's a food court, interesting. A perfume shop, that's interesting. This is Mavis. So this is the entrance. We need to park. fighting about one parking spot, but I guess we're fighting. We'll just drive, dude. You could just park straight ahead. Lots of parking over there. There you go. There you go. See? Go park. Park by the exit. It's the same walking anyway, right? You have to walk to get in or you gotta walk to get out. Oh, there was a little silver car slowing us down. I see. Oh my gosh. Is this painful for you guys to watch these people park? Because I am dying here. I'm like, you just park your car. It's not hard. Turn the wheel, park your car. Easy. Okay. Close the glove compartment. Get my biscuit. Seat belt, car key. handbag which is large oh it's hot out now good god lock the car let's go okay so this is the exit i think we're gonna come out right by the car that's modern jambo
Oh, they have security up here too. The store is so big. It's surprising. But I already got fruit and veg. Jumbo. Jumbo. How are you? How are you? Thank you. Shop cart. Caribou Nevis. The for blue color. Blue, blue, blue. Oh, fake crops. Let's see. Oh, real crops? Get out. 16 bucks. Wow. That is surprising. That's a good deal for me. I'll show you at a different place. It has a bigger selection. Another big hot water tea cup. Let us see. Mm. 
floor temperatures. Let me browse. I'm coming back. Got a water heater. That's what I thought. That should look at that. Though. We are in the stereo aisle. Locked and loaded, we have everything. It is now, what time is it? 11.59. So we have been out all morning. Two hours. No power steering. Maybe there is power steering. And I'm just a baby. Look, how do I get out of this place? I guess not that way. First clue, no exit. Interesting. How the heck do I get out? Well, I guess the other way. Bye, Navis. See you later. Can't say they thought this through. Oh, well. Now, out we go. We give them the biscuit. Photography right there. Asante Sana. goes in the proper lane because nobody wants to go to the speed bump and check out that place. I don't know. That place has been, it's a nif different name. They change the name every couple years. Oh, and then this one, they change the name too. But look, they're like, it's a leisure garden. Okay, what the hell is a leisure garden? Because it doesn't look leisurely. And then they advertise for weddings and stuff like that. I'm like, what? Anyway, if you watch my other ones or you have watched already, you remember that field trip my kid my oldest boy went on when he was like five years old. His first school trip was to a place like that, a leisure park. Leisure park, oh. So that thing just worries me. Anyway, a car drove through this fence a few years back, like into the compound. Like no fence left. It's crazy. Well, that's like my van. They have a Safaricom advertisement for the police station yet. Oh, we're gonna drive by, I'll show you. Hilarious. But like, it's all, you can also do your Impesa here. It was like, how convenient is that? There's also some businesses that do it. Like you go to pay with Impesa and they're like, oh no, you can't pay with Impesa. You just withdraw funds. So it doesn't count as a sale to the company. Like for taxes, it looks like you just went and took money out of your bank but you don't actually touch the money. Like you'll actually take out like $14.92 or like the exact amount for your bill. And they go, thank you very much. And I'm like, that is so shifty, right? Anyway, police are doing it now. Awesome. That was sarcasm if you don't know me. Oh, we just drove past one of my very first house in Kenya. I forgot to show you. That's so sweet. We rented this whole house, it was $900 a month. 
which is unheard of now. Like now you you don't. I think you'd get an apartment for nine hundred bucks a month, but you certainly wouldn't get a house on half an acre. Really nice house too. Really nice house, but we outgrew it. And this neighborhood wasn't the best. It's better now. It's ruined up, but it's closer to that road we were just on. So, and the leisure park. So it wasn't that great. This used to flood all the time. This road used to flood completely. But the American Embassy put in proper drainage. Ding, 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 and did something in the field so it doesn't actually flood anymore in there. But kids would come and like little, they'd be swimming in there, like in their underpants, like splashing around. And it's like a mud puddle, but not super muddy, I guess. And this here, Horseshoe Village. Uh, that one, that's a bloody slump. But they've put, they've changed, they put in houses. So there's 60 brand new houses in there that touch a slump. Like you couldn't even drive on that road because like if you drove on it twice, you'd get robbed. And now there's like a brand new housing complex. And of course it's ruined up. Everything's ruined up. Camphor Road for any of you people who've been here. My family used to live down there. Hello family. Oh, we're coming up to the police station. Let me not talk too much. It's on the left, uh, just near that barrier. I think it's before the barrier, the stick in the middle of the road. On the left, so you'll see the ruined up police station or whatever it is, and then you'll see a sign saying, oh, MPES is available. Look at this. Kenya police, ruined up police station, canteen now open for MPESA. Ah, hilarious, right? Anyway, it is down there. Also, never been have not been to your friendly neighborhood police station. There we are. Back on the road. So where we started in, where we came in at the very beginning of Runda, that was Runda Evergreen. Now this is called New Runda, which is not new. Oh, look at that house. That's a Whopper. That's a Whopper, Daddy. I'd fit in there. What a nice yarnery. This is the road that drew, I think it was one of my first drive-throughs. I took you down this road. It goes through a bit of a slump and then onto the bypass. And it's not really slump, it's village. But do you want to be PC? I, yeah. Oh, bicycles. So we had these Danish friends come to stay with us for a while. Well, the daughter did and then the parents came to visit. Anyway, the brother, blah, blah, they're all into cycling. Like he's a, he cycles for Denmark, like as a profession. And the dad is a co, I don't know. Anyway, the whole family's into it. And he was all excited about buying a bike from Kenya. He's like, oh yes, no, it's the rain drop or the rainbow or the rain, rain maker, rain maker bicycle. He's like, oh, I have to get one. How much is shipping? Blah, blah, blah. It's like a locally produced bike. Anyway, apparently it's like tough as it's heavy as anything. But it has, like when you pedal, you get a tail light and a headlight or something like that. And uh, he's all about it. He totally wanted one. So we drove around trying to find one that like wasn't assembled yet. Because obviously they could assemble it. They're into bikes all the time. But anyway, he did not get one. It's called Rainmaker. The Rainmaker. I have no idea. I didn't know we were known for bikes. I googled it because I was trying to find like the factory or where you can get one for cheap. They're about 70 bucks. Um, and uh, yeah, like some, there was even like a journalist guy. There's a blog about it. it was some guy who came and I don't know, I don't know. But Rainmaker Bike Kenya, Google that. Hilarious. Good tips. Oh, that's Lord Errol down there. Restaurant. No, I'm not looking, only you are. Um, that is where the constant gardener was filmed and I also got married there. Da, 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 da. It's been sold. New owners own it now. So it does it's lost its charm. Not all of its charm, it's still charming, however. It's lost its sentimentality. And now we go back the way I've taken you a bunch of times. Right on the other side of the fence. You used to be able to see it. 
You can see the sign behind that parked car. They didn't even raise it up. So they like bought bricks and everything and then made it flat. So like people are gonna be driving on that in no time. They probably already are driving on it. Anyway, that's me little out and about. My arm is sore. Okay, this guy, I'm serious. Well, how many kilometers an hour is that? 10, five, zero? Good Lord. I want to push this car up the hill. Like, don't worry, I'll get out and push. Um, there we are. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I am going to go unpack all of this bogus and loot. Did not find sushi rice. Failed hard. Hard, 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 hard. What a bummer. Oh well, I will keep looking. I'm going to Google it. Hope you guys are having a great day.